Welcome to Academic Web Services Training. I am your host, David Pinter. And in this session, what we're going to be talking about is creating animations within InDesign for either web presentations or creating animated EPUBs. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come over here and go to New File, and then click on Web. And then I'm going to just click on one of these templates so we'll have some content for this right now. I'll click on this, and then we'll click Open. Now, the first thing that you want to do here inside of InDesign is make sure that your, your workspace is correct. So what I want to do is I want to come over to the window, go to Workspace, and then come down here to where it says Digital Publishing. You would think you'd come down to Interactive, but you don't. You go to Digital Publishing here. And if you'll notice, we have a couple items here in this palette. It says Animation, Timing, Media, Hyperlinks, and so forth right in here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come over here to the Pages palette and I want to change the background color here from this off light orange to a pure white. So I'm going to go into the master since it's applied to every page. I want to go in here and double click this and then select the background and then come over here to the color palette. Double click that and then just type in F's here to make it white. And hit return on the keyboard. So now we have a pure white background. Now let me go back and double click on the page one of our documentation. Now what's interesting, this particular document has eight pages to it. We can select through there, look through that, or we can just simply just scroll down here and we can see how many pages there are. And that gives you an idea of what your layout is going to be looking like. So the first thing I want to do is I want to actually give this project a name. So this is actually floor decking. So let me just type this in. that return and down here it's going to be custom flooring like that and then I guess what we'll do is just we'll just leave the rest of them as is so as far as the animation is concerned we're going to get to that in a minute but first I want to add in some images for these placeholders so I'll select this placeholder here and then go over to the bridge okay and then select an image and then just simply just drag it on top of that placeholder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and then resize the image inside that placeholder so it more or less fits. You can see a little bit more information. By doing that, I'm going to right click, go to fitting, and then go fit content to frame. So I can see a little bit more of what that has to offer. Again, over on this side placeholder, I'm going to click here and then drag in my other image but I'm going, to leave it, I'm going to leave it as is on this one so we can see a really good detail of that type of uh, floor stepping that, we've, uh, that we have here. Now what we want to do is we want to animate the images and items on this web page. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at this top one here, lorem ipsum in this line. I want to have them coming from the top down and this one down here at the bottom of these two lines, I want to have them come from the bottom up. So the first thing I'll have to do is I'll have to select this and then select the line as well and then group them by hitting Control G or Command G on the keyboard. The one down at the bottom, I'm going to select the line, select the word, holding the Shift key down, and the other line, and then again, Command G on a Mac. All right, so the top one, I'm going to select and come over here now. I'll hide this pages one away and then pull up the animations palette. Notice that it's telling you that it is part of a group and then we can choose a preset form of animation. So what I want to do is I want to have that go from the top, flying from the top downward right there. So it's kind of showing you in this little animation what it will look like. Let me try the bottom one. Since this right here now has been grouped, it's telling you it's a group, so I'm going to choose that. Okay and then come in now from the bottom. It'll fly in from the bottom, as you can see, by the animation that is showing you that it's coming up now from the bottom. All right, so let's take a look at that right now. So at the bottom of this one palette, you have this little icon right here. It's a more or less a preview of the spread, but it's only gonna show you the page that you're currently on. So let's click that, and let's see a presentation of what we have. So if you notice that from at the top, and the bottom, we saw it come in right here and right there. So it basically did come in. It came in a little bit late, but we'll, we'll address that a little bit later. 
Let's now work on the other items on the page. First thing we'll do is we'll select the graphic. I want to have it slide in this way. So we're going to have it slide in from the left. Here's the image. Okay? And we'll have that slide in, fly in from the left. The other image will have it fly in from the right. So now what we can do is click on the flooring. And I don't want that to slide in at all. Notice that it looks like it's coming in from the left over this way. So what we'll do right there is I just want to have that one fade in. The pitch deck, I want it to have it come up from the bottom, which it already is. And then I want to have these words right here underneath this graphic come in last. So I want it to have that just fade in. All right. So right now we'll take a look at the presentation again. The floor decking comes in, the pitch deck slides up, the top bottom, and then these two. So it's looking good. However, I want to just change the order of these a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is go over to this one palette here for the timing. So what we have here, if I select on this here, um, you'll notice that right here, okay, that that's the top one. This is the bottom line that would come in, but they're also called the groups here. So what we want to do is have them come in at the same time. So I want to hold the shift key and select both of those, come down here to the bottom, and then simply just play them together or group those together. It'll link them. And I want them to come in first. Right now, the floor decking custom comes in first and then the pitch deck. So but what I want to have is I want to have those two come in first. So I'm going to have to put those up at the top like this. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to take this one here and then drag it underneath here like this. There we go. Okay. So the idea is have the group come in first, the floor decking wording, the pitch deck, the imaging, and then finally at the end, I want to have the wording come in at the end. So that looks pretty good. Let's now click preview. Top comes in, floor decking, pitch deck, two images, and then the text. Another thing that we want to do is we want to have these come in a little bit quicker. People really don't want to wait around that long for that. So we're going to come back here and then go back to the animation and then change that to probably a 0.5 like this, okay. 0.5, have them off 0.5, have them just come in just a little bit faster. Right. 0.5, okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's preview this again. Top, decking, floor, Floors come in and then it fades in at the bottom. Okay, that, that looked pretty good. I'll play it one more time. Very smooth. That, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to export this to either a web page or an EPUB. So let's take a look at the EPUB first. So what I want to do is I want to come up to this little icon right here and then where it says share, and click that and then it come down to the bottom where it says export. So what we want to do here is we want to actually not keep it as an Adobe PDF Interactive. We want to have this as an EPUB fixed layout. And what we'll do is we'll call this flooring. Like that. And then we'll hit save. Good place. All right. And then we want to make sure that if there was a if there was an image that we wanted to have on the first page, which we could have created, we want to have that rasterized. And navigation for a uh, table of contents, none. So let's now just hit OK, and it should be pretty good. Let it do its thing. And now it's exporting this as an animated EPUB. Letting us know that there's some issues with some of the type. That's OK. And then now it's happening. It's happening now. It's now opening up inside of iBooks. There it is. Now what's nice about this? You can now come over and you can click on each individual page. Since animation was already added earlier with some of these, you can see what that looks like. So this is actually an EPUB version 3.0. Now, if you're looking at exporting this as a web document, you simply just would go up back up to here, 
like this. Let me close out this previewer. Come up here, go to Publish Online. And that right there is going to bring you to a dialog box, which you'll have to give it a particular name. Like that. Floor decking. Publish. All pages. Allow viewers to download the document as a PDF print as well. And then we can hit Publish. So it's preparing the document to be published. And it's now uploading the document to the server. There it is. So now we can do one of two things. We can copy this link or we can simply just view the document. Let me just copy that link, open up a web page, click here, paste it in, hit return on the keyboard, and now we can see our animations coming in. So there you have it, working with animation inside of Adobe InDesign.